is in the box. Well, there's a heat pack in here. It's still warm and insulated and that is great. And it was kept separately by this partition, partition right here. And yep, everything's nicely insulated in this box. And then inside the box is a little deli container that's taped closed and that is insulated as well and there are little vials in there so let's see what I have. Alright, so I'm going to remove the tape on my cup. And I can see that there's some moisture in here from the paper towels. There we have it. One, two, three, four, five, six little babies. I don't see any kind of death curl. They're all moving. Yep, every single one of them is moving. Can you guess what these are? I bet some of you can because you cheated and you saw it on Facebook, but hmm. So I'm going to get these little guys out of their vials and down inside of these holes that I've made. I have one there, there's one over there. They can choose where they want to be. So let me get started on that. So for anyone who knows me, my dream for a long time has been to have an M. Balfoury communal. And that is what I got here. These little ones came from Vlad Rep on the East Coast. Okay, there's one vial. You can see the way they're packaged here. They've got one little piece of tissue, moist tissue. Looks like it's moistened with water on one side and one on the other side. So they've got their nice little space in there. And they're fuzzy little buds. Maybe they'll come out on their own. Okay, so you got three little vials there. Do they want to come out, you guys? Come on. Um, I have a little a wire it's for this purpose. Bend it a little bit. Get them to come out and go in their hole. Nice and easy. Let's try this little guy. Come on. Come on, back up. Back up, you got it. Oh, you almost got it. Let's go. All right. Okay, straight down into the hole. Do you see that? Cute. Gonna take this from you. You gotta let go. Oh no! Don't go back in. Oh. Okay. We have one little guy went back in. Number two. Oh, <laughs> the one that just went back in is making some webbing with his little butt. 
Okay, we're backing out. Backing out, come on. Yeah, you're feisty. Let me reach up and touch it. There you go. Down into the hole. Easy does it. All right, let's try this again. Go. Come on. Out. Back. Back up. Back up. Back up. No. 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 I want you to back up. Come on. You got a nude burrow. It's much better than the plastic one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. It's like, uh, maybe this burrow is a little bit full of friends. So there's another burrow in here. I can actually make one anywhere, to be honest. There's several burrows, so if they don't like one, they can go into another one. All right, little one. No, no, come out, come on. So fuzzy. No spotting. Do not spot away. Go the other direction. You got some burrows over there. Nope. There you go. This is number five. My goal was to have seven, but six is perfect as well. Yes, I know. You are wondering what is going on. No, 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 no. Go the other way. No, 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 no. Go the other way. Come on. I'm going to do the same thing. Get a little confused. We'll get it figured out. Climbing up the wall. Well, this enclosure is a little bit big, but... I know that they're going to grow fast, so I'm not really worried about it. No, 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 Go the other way. Come on, turn around. There's a burrow right there. Oh, you ran over it. Okay, well, this one's just going to, I think... Find a new spot. Yep. Went back underneath the skull and into, into that uh, area. And here's the last one. Mm 
Very nice packaging, by the way. It was very uh, easy um, ordering from Vlad Rep. He kept his word and he followed through and he was very responsible about the whole thing and I really enjoyed it. Very good communication and good follow through. So I recommend him. His prices weren't too shabby either. Okay, everybody's found a hole. This little one went into a hole over over here. Let's see if we can see it. Right there. There's a little burrow right in there, and that's where this one went. Everybody's gone into their burrows. It went very easy and smooth. And I tried to just gently nudge them as gently as I could. And this wire is not sharp. It is um, bent over and twisted and, and very blunt. So no danger of hurting them. As I go, I will say that when I thought about having an embau for a communal, I was... Um, you know, a bit anxious about putting them all into their new enclosure, that sort of thing. But, you know, the more I've gotten used to working with, with the tarantulas, there's some behaviors that are predictable. And also, if you have it in your head, what it means when they bolt and you've had that experience before, you know, you're kind of like, okay, it could happen and I'm ready for it and, you know... Every other time it's worked out, we'll just take it one step at a time and remain calm. And that seems to work really well. And it's about all you can do. As you can see, I used one of these um, Sterilite tubs as a backup in case anyone decided to run away. But we had no runaways. We had all, all schulters good. I would call this Spulter's Mini. As in many Spulter's. And next I'm going to fill up their water bowl. In this case I am going to use some of this false bottom just a little bit in their cup in case they need to climb out. I would never want anyone to drown even though it's unlikely. So I've dropped some of this false bottom into their water dish. Even it out a bit so that they can get down in there and drink. I use this distilled water for my tarantulas. Sometimes I just leave the water out so that all the chemicals evaporate out. And I use uh, filtered water from the tap. Usually I use one of these syringes to fill up water bowls. My sister gave me these. She ordered them uh, for my nephew. Uh, he has a feeding tube and these were the wrong size and so she donated them to me for watering my tarantulas. It's been very helpful instead of just doing one tiny one at a time. So this is a 60 milliliter Now, one thing I will say about this basketball case enclosure is the lid on the basketball case in particular is pretty loose. So usually I put something on top of it um, and, you know, I wouldn't put it past a communal <laughs> tarantula um, like these M. Balfouri to devise a plan and get together in a push on the top and get out. So I will be keeping something on top of this or I will put a little piece of tape on it, which is what I've done. Um, I've done that for uh, some of my other enclosures and that's worked out really well too. So that is how I remedy that situation. Now 
I am going to send uh, Vlad a message and let him know that all these babies are doing great. The silly little little sling running around down here. So we gotta make sure that this one doesn't get out. Um, what I'm gonna do next, since uh, if you've ever watched a video of the M. Balfouri slings feeding, they are like Elton John when he sat next to Freddie Mercury and splashed his food all over. So they're going to need a cleanup crew. And I have a whole bunch of little isopods here that I have raised. Um, some of them may be Dalmatians and then the others are dwarf white. <clears throat> um, and, if, and if they multiply, they can also be a bit of a food source. So that will help. And I'm going to just uh, turn these loose in here and let them do their jobs. So here we go. I do have one little little guy in here running around. I'm going to go ahead and deposit these guys over here by the water. I suppose <clears throat> they could be a little bit of a food source as well. So, there they are. Zoom in on those. Those are isopods. And then over here, we got a little woolly bear. If you can see him down there, right there. Right on the stick. One of the little embalfori. So we got a little bit of activity here. There's an isopod that came along and some of the baby babies came out of their burrow. Um, what I'm going to do now is give these guys some pre-kill red runners and just leave them at the burrow entrances. Um, and as you know, if you've looked into the Ambalfori, they are a fascinating species. They are known as being one of the most communal. The mothers even take care of their young. So, I'm going to leave some pre-kill around for them. They need to be well fed. You don't want to take any chances. Um, some, some... Tarantulas that are known to be <clears throat> communal will feed on each other, and less so with the Elm Balfouri. Most people have a really positive experience with them. From what I hear, so I'm going to put some Red Runners out. Already got babies exploring. So that should be plenty. Plenty of scavenging and some friends to help eat it. Hoping maybe we'd catch a feeding, but looks like they're they seem relaxed, so you know that's a good thing. Um kind of exploring, which is nice that they've already come out of their burrows and, and they're looking around and nobody's trying to dart away or nothing. Got yeah, one baby that's uh, down in here exploring. I'm not sure if you can see the movement there. There's a burrow that goes down underneath the skull and comes back out. So there's lots of little holes and places to hide. It's very sweet and makes me very happy that they're out exploring already. Down inside the skull, we've got um, a roach that's these are pre-kill. I've squished their heads, but that one's really moving around a lot. I just saw the little butt disappear back down into the burrow. So this is going to be really fascinating. Um, if you've watched Tarantula Haven, you've probably seen his M. Balfouri communal and how he uses the red lights to see them at night. So maybe we'll try something like that. Thanks to him showing us how. And um, I will put a link to uh, the video that I watched uh, from Tom Moran 
and this video talks about his experiences. Uh, I think he'd had the Envile for a communal for two years, so he got quite a bit of experience and was able to talk about what was working best. So that is what I referenced when setting this up. I'm very thankful for that. Thank you, Tom Moran. Thank you, Vlad Rep. And thank you, Tarantula Haven. I haven't seen any of the others eating, but here's one of the five, or one of the six. And, uh, plumping right up. It's very exciting. Can't wait to come in here at night and see what they're up to.